All right, it is the Elder Fairy one. Again, same thing. Taunt. Put that sign of the star on Elder Fairy. Elder Fairy dies, or even if it survives, go on to White Lily. Have that sign of the star. Freezes. Done. Boom. Gone. Game over. All right, guys. So yesterday I shared with you guys the triple tank uh, White Lily Hyper Carry comp uh, that is honestly right now probably the most used inside of the arena and the most universal comp uh, that people are able to kind of utilize. Um, but this comp has a big, big counter, and that is going to be no other than Stardust that I've talked about in the PvP tier list and yesterday as well. Uh, so this comp does not have White Lily. This comp does not have Elder Fairy either. Uh, so it is a build that people can try out if possible. Um, you know, utilizing the older cookies uh, that have been released. Honestly, they are a pretty old cookie, except for Snapdragon, right? Stardust, uh, Hollowberry, Financier, Frost Queen. Uh, they are pretty old. They have all been part of the meta. They come back and forth. Uh, currently, two of them are heavily in the meta. Uh, Hollowberry is slowly coming back. And then, yeah, Stardust is being used as a niche cookie to counter white lily as well as other fairy the biggest problem with this particular uh comp right and the reason why stardust can be used is because of the fact that they do not have any curse protection someone like crimson coral we had curse protection we also had curse protection with uh who is it rockstar as well all right and when rockstar as well as parfait who has debuff immunity uh you know those comps were going around stardust started losing his footing inside of the arena however with them completely gone now we see that stardust could shine once more uh so let's go over the topics real quick and uh you know uh let's go over the team in action as well uh but the toppings for financier as well as hollowberry is exactly the same as yesterday's uh you just need to have at least a three second start for financier which is uh 17.3 percent uh, without set bonus, 22.3% with set bonus. And then damage resist as well with extra defense, HP, they all help out. Um, if you can get cooldown higher, the better it is so that you can use uh, that shield a lot faster. And then for the uh, biscuit, I would say damage resist, uh, you know, cooldown, defense, they all help out with Finisir. I would say damage resist and cooldown are a little bit better than the others as well. Uh, I just got really lucky with the insane amount of damage resist so i'm using it because we're using swift chocolate on finish here all right next one is going to be hollowberry hollowberry is using the full solid almond build uh just like yesterday uh so we have the damage resist as well as cooldown cooldown the higher the better is going to be around six percent is recommended and then for the biscuit as well again damage resist hp defense or any other uh you know substats that are going to help in survivability is going to be good all right uh and the next one is going to be stardust stardust is pretty simple you could uh use the full-on juicy apple jelly just like before if your stardust is strong uh you know your your promotions aren't strong uh in the current arena where your ranking is then go ahead and use the full juicy apple jelly with damage resist as well as cooldown if your stardust is like zero star promotion start uh slowly dying off because your other enemies are just really really powerful uh then go with the full solid almond build uh that is fine too because you're mainly using stardust for the sign of the star debuff uh and then you know frost queen is going to be doing the main damage dealing here all right and cooldown attack crit damage resist bypass damage resist those are all going to be helpful for stardust and then with that said, let's go into the Frost Queen. Uh, it's going to be full on Saiyan Raspberry, focusing on damage resist, attack, as well as crit. Cooldown is not the most necessary here. Um, and then for the Biscuit, we have damage resist, cooldown, damage resist, bypasses. Uh, again, attack, crit, also definitely helpful. And the last one is going to be Snapdragon, same as uh, yesterday as well. Uh, maximum cooldown, no damage resist. And then extra attack crit attack speed helps out and then with the uh you know the biscuit cooldown cooldown attack need to change this at hp but uh didn't have the chance yet all right uh the treasures are going to be the scroll whistle as well as the jelly watch we have the whistle being applied uh to frost queen as well as stardust all right um so let's go into it i'm going to show you guys uh first against my team 
right uh this is the team that i am using the team that i shared yesterday exact same toppings biscuits as well uh we just go into practice mode uh, once you click on defense and then let me show you guys the starters team in action all right so right here you're gonna be able to see Stardust goes up uh, again. Stardust does have that extra damage resist that Stardust is able to go and uh, get. You saw right there the curse applied to Elder Fairy. The freeze happened, completely got rid of you know Elder Fairy, and then right after, right, you go into Stardust putting that sign of the Star debuff on White Lily, preventing all of the extra buffs, and boom. Frost screen just absolutely destroys the enemies. All right, so Stardust back then used to be a massive, massive, massive damage dealer. Now using, uh, being used more of this niche type of cookie to just absolutely uh, prevent all of those debuffs or all of those buffs uh, from happening uh, and taking place for someone like White Lily as well as uh, Elder Fairy and just destroying the two core members of the team. Uh, so super, super simple. Um, again, uh, you don't need to have really high promotion on Stardust either. Uh, the reason why, because Frost Queen is the main damage dealer here. So again, uh, with a lot of these comps coming around, even with the Feather, uh, really, you're just gonna be able to go and burst them down. So here we go, again. You can see right here, we're just going hit that elder fairy elder fairy comes back alive but not a problem we're gonna go and hit it again and then we're gonna have frost queen uh freeze or more all right here we go again oh this time around we actually hit white lily instead because the taunt i guess didn't happen on elder fairy and boom gone if white lily dies the hyper carry dies then uh nothing could happen so there we go and again, Frost Queen just absolutely destroying the enemies right there. Yeah, but with so many of the uh, comps coming around with Triple Tank, uh, this comp is really, really good. Um, so there's another one. This one is going to be the, with the Vion Feather. I actually don't know how it will work against this one. So let's see how it goes. All right, here we go. And again, Elder Fairy. Oh, Elder Fairy barely survived that one, but I think it's going to die most likely from this one uh we got rid of white lily as well so once uh the sign of the star debuff is on elder fairy whether the elder fairy dies or not it doesn't really matter because the sign of the star debuff is on elder fairy which means that taunt is not going to be possible right once that happens stardust next automatic target is white lily frost queen freezes white lily boom done there's nothing Nothing Wild Lily is able to do. So there you guys go again. Frost Queen just melting them away. Stardust just doing his job, right? Doing his job of going and getting rid of all those buffs. This one is a paper charm triple tank slash healer with Frost Queen White Lily. I don't know how we'll do against this one. Let's see it. All right. We are most likely hitting uh, Fettuccini. Yep, we hit Fettuccini. Oh, Stardust died off right there early. Let's see how the uh, how the battle goes on from here, though. Wow. Yep. Let's go up against this one too. I don't know what this one is. All right, this one's Elder Fairy, Fin and Seer with Frost Queen and White Lily. And wow, our start is just taking so much damage in the BN here. Alright, come on. Are we able to survive until the next one? Oh, Stardust not able to use the skill. We did get rid of Elder Fairy. So now it's up to our Frost Queen to uh, do the damage here. Okay, and we did win. I will have to say, though, this is more of a niche counter comp. Um, it does work against a lot of the, I would say, just Elder Fairy um, and 
you know what lily comps in general is not bad but there you guys go a uh, niche stardust comp but i would say it's a pretty good one against again uh if you do see any of the elder fairy and white lily sticking around inside of the defense teams uh then i would say these two are going to be countered really really well uh by stardust i would say that's probably going to be a gr uh, great uh team to use uh inside of the arena because the arena right now, uh, whether you guys know it or not, it is rock, paper, scissor. Uh, more than the stars uh, coming into play right now, a lot of the actual, you know, actual counters are playing a heav uh, heavy role in actually making you either win the battle or lose the battle. So make sure to know the counters. Again, right now, the White Lily comps as well as Elder Fairy White Lily comps are being countered. Uh, by Stardust with someone like Frost Queen, uh, so keep that in mind. But again, uh, this is probably a great overall comp. No one really uses this as defense, uh, so just keep that in mind as well. Uh, but yeah, there you guys go. The Stardust comp that I talked about, as uh, that I you know mentioned inside of the PvP tier list, as well as yesterday's video as well.